quite surprised that this was on it, only because the uh, the away side I thought were a little bit skinny. Everton plus 260. Found a way to get beat again last week. 95th minute win up for the visitors in Wolves. But Brighton at plus 110. Listen, they, they play well home and away. They score goals home and away. And they're minus 105 to score twice. They scored twice here, Stinch. Surely they win the game. The draw is at plus 240. But sooner or later, Everton have got to come out and pick up something. Yeah, I mean, they got a very creditable point away at Man City after that Wolves How? game. How? How does that happen? <laughs> it's football. Um, I think they had two shots in the match and they scored a worldie. Um, there's not a lot you can you can do about that. But, you know, some credit, I think, um, must go to Everton in order to keep probably the best team in the world um, out and help hold them to a draw away from home. But uh, you know they they do need they need to pick up wins. Um, that's something that needs to be happening sooner rather than later. Frank Lampard is uh, second in the in the sack race for for the next manager to go. So obviously the pressure is is mounting. We know they do most of their good work at Goodison Park. So that was a really really um, bad result losing at home to a relegation rival in Wolves. So yeah, the pressure is massive here. Um, the reason I was in, wanted to be involved in this game is because. I think um, with Brighton now, their their matches, I think, is pretty much an auto bet for backing over two and a half goals, especially when yeah. it's chalked up at plus 105. I think any match where, where it's not the favourite, you've got to look into it and see, is there a reason why why I can't, I can't not get involved? And I can't find one here. Um, you know, there's 10 games now under De Zerbi, 36 goals. So that's over 3.5 per game, and we're just looking at 2.5 here. Uh, the last six have all been over two and a half. So from Brighton's point of view, very happy to get involved with it. But we know Everton, obviously, um, that expansive, as you kind of alluded to. So can we kind of justify it here? And I think we can, because Everton on paper have got the sixth best defence in the league. But it's actually only three clean sheets in 17 games. And if you look a little bit deeper, they're actually the f fifth worst team in terms of expected goals against. So they're overachieving, effectively, in defence. And they, sh they could have perhaps should have conceded nearly nine goals more, which is the biggest overachievement in the division, um, which is in some part down to Pickford, but it's also down to bad finishing from the opposition. And then they'll also be without Onana in central midfield. Now, he's quite a big um, facet for them in terms of um, his defensive involvement. He's second for tackles. He's first for fouls. So he's huge in terms of breaking up uh, the play. And in the four games that he's not started this season, Everton have conceded eight goals. So there's a clear uh, improvement in terms of the amount they're conceded when he's not playing. Uh, Brentford have just scored, by the way. So I'm backing over two and a half goals at plus 105. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I think that Brent, uh, Brighton owe us nothing. We had them last week, team total over one and a half, and both teams to score. I mean, almost you can guarantee that Brighton are going to score one or two on their own, Marco, here. Everton have, at home, that's where they're going to pick up their points if they're going to survive. So... The plus 105 does look like probably the best bet on the cards. Yeah, for sure. I, I would have been close. Um, ordinarily, I would get getting stuck into goals in this game because it's Brighton. Um, we've talked many times about the, the spike in, in goals in their game since De Zerbi took charge, the change in style, the change of approach. They've kept just one clean sheet since he's arrived um, to take over. But they've scored at least twice in half of those 10 matches, including four of the most recent five. And you look at their attitude and their approach, and they've taken on the big teams, Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City, Chelsea. They don't, they don't fear anyone. They're taking the game to all of these teams. They're not changing their style or approach. They're, they're playing with reckless abandon going forward. And I certainly won't fear. They're not going to fear going to Goodison Park or Everton. Uh, they're not going to change their approach. So Overs and BTTS um, as a partnership has banked in seven of their 10 games under De Zerbi, including the last six. And you know, anyone who saw us a swallow side won't be too surprised by that because they're very fun to follow. So to me, it's just whether Everton have the ability to engage in a gunfight and I think they're lacking a bit of ammunition. Um, they're struggling, um, obviously they are, so they're going to aim to try and keep things tight first and foremost. Um, and only twice have they managed more than one goal in a game so far this season. They failed to score in 7 of 17. They're averaging just 0.76 goals per game. Um, and yeah, Stinch is right, defensively they've not been great, but they've been helped out by Jordan Pickford who ranks second of all Premier League goalkeepers for save percentage and also second in post-shot expected goals as well. So he clearly has been their player of the season so far, but you know how long can he continue to sort of uh, work minor miracles behind that defence? So 
tricky one this uh, ordinarily I'd, I'd back it blindly at plus 105 but there's just something holding me off I, I rarely seem to be able to get Everton right at the moment so um, I'll just happily let Stinch take the take the lead here and, and kind of ruin it whenever when Brighton win this game is 3-2 or we have a bit of a shootout so uh, yeah I think fingers it's a good game to yours. watch I mean it's definitely a good game to watch because obviously you've got Everton who cannot pass up the opportunity of these three points on the uh, home and then you've got Brighton who just love scoring goals and love playing in a way that's so uh, so generous on the eye let's have a little look at the official picks because again we know that Stinch is going to go with the uh, over two and a half because it's at plus 105 and Brighton listen they could be the ones that put up two on their own or they could just get all three uh, and it could be a three one three two type of game so yeah we're uh, looking at goals over two and a half at plus 105 